welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vonda Hopkins I Choose. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that notification bell so that you know every time that I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram at ICH underscore OOS. Guess what, guys? Today is my birthday, and I turned 30 years old, and I'm just excited for this new chapter in my life. I would have been celebrating my birthday in Quebec, Canada, but I had to <laughs> cancel it due to the coronavirus, the quarantine, everything that's going on right now. Um, yeah, so um, I went out to eat earlier today and man they was like keeping you separate from each other they only had one cook on staff they had two waiters so just imagine what that was like but you know we still had a great time it's just a lot that's going on right now and i believe as believers this is the best time for us to exercise our faith and to put all of the scriptures and the verses that we've been meditating on into practice you know um faith without works is dead and we know that we have to walk by faith and not by sight putting god first in everything that we do he says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of these things shall be added unto you so when we seek god first look we're gonna find him we need to find him and look for his wisdom because wisdom will preserve those that have it okay and also he says be anxious for nothing but in all things prayer and self application so we want to give thanks unto god even in the midst of everything that's going on god i thank you for taking care of my family i thank you that you're going to be jehovah jireh you will provide our every needs that i know that you are emmanuel that you're going to be the god that was with us that you would never leave us nor forsake us these are the things that we have to keep reminding ourselves of we want to keep meditating on those things we want to speak um the bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so we want to keep speaking positivity we also don't want to walk in faith at all i mean fear at all all right the bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so we want to make sure that we get in the word of god all right inside of our ears and not listening to fear the media the media will hype this stuff up into a whole nother level but we as believers we have to believe the report of the lord we have to go back into the scriptures and search the word and see what god has to say pertaining to this situation and even as i look at it like this is rest for the nations when has everything just been shut down this is a historical moment. Like people are always on the go, on the go, on the go. This is time for us to really pray, seek God's face fast and labor before him. And you know, take some time to come up with some new creative ideas and really accomplish some things that we really needed to accomplish. Really going back and looking at our vision and making sure that we write it down, that we do the research pertaining to all of the things that we have written down so that we can move further faster in our lives. This is time for us to even evaluate and examine ourselves. Today, I want to give you seven ways to help you recession proof your finances. I am not a financial advisor, but I do have my license in life, health, and annuities, and I am a student at the University of South Florida studying personal finances. I know that with this coronavirus and the quarantine, a lot of industries and jobs are going to be affected by what's going on. So I want to give you some type of financial peace, some guidance to be able to help you i know a lot of people that's like um work for the airlines teachers daycare centers food industry and all of those things you're trying to figure out whether or not you have enough money saved you know what are some other options that you may have that you can do financially so you can make sure that you're good and that you come out financially free I don't think that it is too short, too soon to ensure that your finances are well equipped to be able to weather this storm. So the first thing is you don't 
want to be wasteful in this season you don't want to do any type of foolish spending you want to make sure that you save all that you can all right so that you can last don't just do no crazy spending the bible says that fools rush in you don't want to go make any huge purchases right now without getting some type of counsel or doing your research the bible says that in the multitude of counsel there is safety so making sure that you're sitting with the proper person to be able to help you guide you through any type of things that you may want to do so um before you purchase a house sit with a realtor or sit with your financial advisor okay also, um, just just getting 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 some type of counsel will help you before you make any drastic or big decisions. Okay. Um. So number one, all right, that was just some tips in the beginning. We at number one right now. Number one is paying off your debt. You want to pay off as much debt as you can. And I know some of you are like, I've been trying to pay off my debts, but what can I do now? Um, you may have to create some extra income. The Bible says have seven, yes, eight ventures because you never know what disaster may come upon the land. All right. This is a lot that's going on right now. This is unexpected. This is pretty much a disaster. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have those extra streams of income and tapping into your gifts and your talents and cultivating them. Um, God says every good and perfect gift comes from up above and your gifts and your uh, your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men and women. So what is it that you have that you can use right now that will bring in some extra income, whether it may be cooking, maybe you can sell some food um, that you may be able to drop off door to door. I don't know what that's going to look like or also um, doing Uber Eats or maybe writing a book, start a YouTube channel doing some type of counseling, doing some social media stuff, some graphics, some designs, making some websites, like use, coming up with some creative ideas, looking for ways, um, whatever type of problem, can you solve the problem, right? Looking at all of those things so that you can create another stream of income. Um, also, then a lot of jobs may pay, lay you off. So you want to make sure that you can you're paying this debt off so that it's opening up your budget you're being able to have a bigger budget um it's going to give you some financial peace if you go ahead and pay off some of this debt that you have i know that like other people say that you should um pay off small interest rates first but i think that right now during this time anything that has a high interest rate you should pay those off first um then focus on personal loans focus on auto loans also your mortgage and student loans because those things can accumulate really fast okay so make sure you get rid of that debt also i want to give you another tip that you can use um sometimes you can call your bank or you can call whoever is the creditor over credit cards and you can ask them hey do i qualify for you to lower my interest rate they do this usually once out of the year so you can't have a real hot like can't be really close to your credit limit because they won't approve you but if you're like halfway like at your in the in the middle of your credit limit a lot of times they will lower it for you and you can do it one time so you can call them and ask them hey and my the second thing that you want to do to recession proof your finances is to start an emergency savings account and everybody will be different because everybody get paid differently but this is just in the event that you get laid off that you have some type of money to be able to still handle your day-to-day -day expenses okay so the first thing that you want to do by starting off is putting away a thousand dollars you want to do this as fast as you can and you can do it by um putting away 250 dollars for four cycles will give you a thousand dollars or by putting away five hundred dollars for two pay cycles will give you a thousand dollars once you reach that thousand dollars then you want to move over to building a stronger emergency um account savings account and you can do this by putting away anywhere from three to six months worth of your monthly income that you make right now all right so for example if you make fifteen hundred dollars um in a month you would take that fifteen hundred dollars and times it by three and that would give you forty five hundred dollars if you get paid fifteen hundred dollars 
times that by six will be which will be six months that would give you nine thousand dollars all right so those are just some strategies that will help you build your savings account so first you want to do that thousand dollars and then you will build a stronger emergency fund by putting away three to six months worth of your income. i recommend that you should go back and watch my video on emergency funds i'm going to teach you how to start an emergency fund what is an emergency fund the benefits of an emergency fund and also how to build a stronger emergency fund so i have received great comments and feedback on that video a lot of people have watched it as well and it works three is identifying ways where you can cut back i also created a video on this as well that will give you 10 tips on how you can save money so this for example would be like subscriptions a lot of people pay a lot of money on subscriptions um like 14 dollars 15 dollars 20 dollars all right and this will allow you to know how to go in and cancel the ones that you need and you don't need and then also when you go grocery shopping making sure that you create a list before you go grocery shopping you do an inventory in your house before you actually go shopping so you're not buying things that you already have at home i talk about how you can call your provider like verizon cell phone provider to cut back and make sure that you're getting the best plan especially if you're not going international or using international calls you'll be able to save some money maybe you can take that off of your plan right now during this time so number four is living above your means so this is not the time to live above your means all right um just buy maybe major name brand stuff or labels and stuff like that just buy the uh, the essentials get the essentials that you need as far as just like if you need clothes bare stuff that you need um grocery utilities paying your rent paying your mortgage this is stuff that you should be paying in, buying um not planning vacations and um cable and stuff like that if you already have movies that you already have if you have netflix watch those don't continue to buy more stuff all right also number five is focusing on the long haul so you want to think about um not just right now but you want to think about maybe a couple of years or a couple of months from now so your retirement plans and your investments that you have in your stocks and stuff like that you want to make sure that right now that you have a diversified portfolio because yes the market is low this is like the best time to buy the s p 500 is low you know a lot of the stocks and airlines is low but you also need to sit down with a financial advisor and look at what that stuff look like you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket you want to be very diversified okay because you don't know where you're going to take a hit at yeah the market is low now but it may go up and may come back down we don't know what it's going to look like okay so you also got to know your risk tolerance everybody risk tolerance is different okay for me i'm not i'm not big on a high risk tolerance when i look at the stock market okay so it's three ways that your money can grow your money can grow fixed that's in a bank account um or that can be like under your mattress savings account it's not really getting that much growth then you have a variable account this is your stocks and stuff like that right and when i look at variable variable is like an ekg all right chart it go up it come down and when it drop my heart gonna drop all right so you have have to really look at this stuff and then also your money can grow index and when index is it goes up and it mirrors the market and when the market goes up your money goes up when the market drop it simply slides you over and lock you in all right so that's what indexing is and you need to know out of those three which one is the best for you when it comes to your risk do you have a high risk or low risk for me i'm not trying to lose no money all right so some people like to play with that know that instead of just saying like oh the market low let me go invest all this money you don't know what the market is going to do so it's good to sit down with a financial advisor and that you don't go out there playing and lose all your money i feel like right now either you can make um a decision that will set you up for the rest of your life or you can make some decisions that will cause you to be homeless tomorrow so make sure you think um before you just go out there and do whatever you want to 
do all right and also that was six which is identifying your risk tolerance really know what your risk tolerance is right now should you invest in cds bonds savings account or should you get into stocks um index accounts and things like that also the uh people are going to be coming to you telling you like oh you should put your money here oh you should do this make sure that you're sitting with someone that is certified so this is certified financial accountants certified financial planners um financial advisors that can really help you okay that's been doing this for a while not just billy bob jane from down the street telling you to come invest in bitcoin or telling you and i don't have no problems against bitcoin i'm just saying a lot of people come to people and tell them oh invest your money here put your money here put your money there and stuff like that and they don't have no background in finances all right also a lot of people are going to be coming to you with like job opportunities oh you should come work for my multi-level company make sure that you don't get yourself into something and you not be able to pull yourself out and you're around here paying all these dues and fees to be a part of these companies that's not going to make you no money from the beginning okay and the person at the head is making money so know what is best for you take some counsel know your risk know what you're getting involved in before you just say yeah i want to do this sign me up know what's best for you in your household all right before you just go out there and rush in like a fool use some wisdom wisdom will preserve those that have it when she cries out in the chief place make sure you hear her okay that's what the bible say mm. All right, um, continue your education is seven and build up your skills. Like I said, during this time, there are a lot of schools that is offering online free courses that you can actually take. So you wanna go ahead and search. It's like um, a lot of schools, I can post the little flyer that I see at the end of this video, but you wanna continue your education. I know that school is online right now. A lot of people are down and depressed. Don't stop because you wanna make sure that you get this degree so that you can make more money when you're done and you have the skills that the companies are looking for um they're going to be looking for experts they're going to be looking for people that's well trained in their fields so you want to continue to cultivate your gift you want to continue to study so that you can be able to have the answers to the problems that's going on i know that i am not the only one that's looking to be joseph in the midst of a famine or recession or whatever is going on in the midst of chaos and disasters and storms and sickness and diseases i'm looking for god and what he wants to pour out i don't want to miss him so i always give you guys scriptures and i am going to read deuteronomy 28 1 through 2 but i want you to go back and read the whole thing um it talks about the blessings of obedience if you follow god's commandments all of these blessings are going to come upon you. So this is a scripture when people talk about, I'm going to be the head and not the tail. I'm going to be blessed coming in and blessed coming out. I should be the lender and not the borrower. All of those things. But guess what, guys? He says the blessings of obedience. So you're going to have to obey the word of the Lord for all of these blessings to come upon you. And then he further down in the scripture, he talk about the curses of disobedience. So when you don't obey, then those are things that come upon you as well. So I'm going to read one through two. It says, if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commandments that I am giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the world. You will experience all things, all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. So God has already given us a promise. If you obey his word, he will set you above the nations and all of these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. So that is what I leave you with today. I love you guys. Listen, stay calm in the midst of a storm. Y'all be blessed and take care.